What's up Lumios Trainers, Lumios Trainer Zack here. An interesting battle mechanic introduced in Generation 7 is Z-Moves. It's basically like a super cool and flashy finishing move that all Pokemon can use. As long as it's holding a Z-Crystal that corresponds with the attack type, your Pokemon is good to go. What's even more interesting is the fact that some Pokemon were given exclusive Z-Moves that only they can use. Some of these Pokemon include Pikachu, Snorlax, and Eevee. This was super cool, and I'd love to see a couple more Pokemon get some Z-Moves of their own in the eventual Diamond and Pearl remakes. So today, I bring you the top 5 exclusive Z-Moves for the Diamond and Pearl remakes. But I'm not alone. Today, I'm joined by fellow PokeTuber, Ruffled Rowlet. How's it going, Lumius Trainers? My name is Ruffled Rowlet, and welcome to our top 5 video. Now, because of how Duration 6 first introduced Mega Lucians in X and Y, and then added a few more in Auras, we believe that Generation 7 will do the same for Z-Moves, and add a couple more in the future that we think will happen, Diamond and Pearl remakes. Now, we do hope you enjoy our list, and also, once you finish watching this video, you can always stick around and go to my video over on my channel, where Zack and me are doing the top 5 exclusive moves for Pokemon Star. Remember, this list is purely speculation, and we're just naming a few Pokemon we think should get their own Z-moves. If there's any Pokemon that you wanted to make the list but didn't, let us know in the comments. Alright, if you're excited for this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. Also, share this video if you enjoy. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Coming in at number 5 is Ash Greninja. I'm sorry, but I gotta add the mascot to this list. Yeah, it already got some love by introducing the Battle Bond ability, but it still needs one more thing to be perfect. Someone explain this to me. During Ash's battle in the Colossus League Finals, he tells Greninja to use Water Shuriken, and instead of doing a normal one, it does this roided out version of it. This blew everyone's mind, and I immediately thought this was a Z-move of some sort. What made this even more likely is the fact that Z-moves were revealed two weeks before this episode aired. The anime has been used multiple times to tease and promote things that are coming to the games, so what else was I supposed to think? Turns out it wasn't a Z-move, and the X1Z anime ended without ever explaining or even mentioning what happened. Well, that's disappointing. Even though Sun and Moon didn't make a Z-move for Greninja's Water Shuriken, Diamond and Pearl remakes can fix this by adding this. If by any chance anyone at Game Freak is watching this video, please make this a thing. I'm serious. Now, coming next is going to be the beauty known as Heatran. Now, Heatran has always been kind of a weird Pokemon, but also a very unique Pokemon. Now, what is really weird about this thing is that back in Gen 4 when it came out, there wasn't much hype around it. I mean, Heatran was used, a lot of people did use it like in battles and whatnot, but just having this fire and steel type Pokemon definitely would be cool to see a Z-move on. Now, Z-moves on this thing would probably be something like its signature move, Magma Storm, which would make sense. And I'm a huge fan of just lava-based Pokemon and Pokemon that you actually lava moves or magma moves quote unquote and Heatran will be perfect with that now as we might not be getting any future mega evolutions and since Z moves are kind of the new thing I potentially think magma storm could be cool to see on Heatran in a future diamond and pearl remake which really would be nice as this is one of those Pokemon that is kind of forgotten and I would love to see more like more attention given to it I guess but that's why I feel like magma storm Z move would be so cool to see on a future Heatran in diamond and pearl remakes Taking the number 3 spot are the 3 Sinnoh starters. Showing them some love by giving them an exclusive Z-move makes total sense because that's the whole theme of Generation 7. This would be similar to how the Hoenn starters got their own Megas for their remakes because Mega Evolution was the whole theme of Gen 6. What's cool about Sun and Moon is the fact that now Pokemon have specific moves they learn by evolving. For example, the Alola starters learn their signature moves Spirit Shackle, Darkest Lariat, and Sparkling Aria when they evolve. These are the attacks that become the exclusive Z-move. So maybe the same will happen for the Sinnoh starters. Torterra learns Earthquake, Infernape learns Close Combat, and Empoleon learns Aqua Jet. Game Freak can literally do whatever they want with these moves, but I imagine them being a super buffed out version of their signature moves, similar to the Alola starters. Now, coming in number 2, we're going to have ourselves Mesprit, which I have to say has to be one of my personal favorites legendaries from the legendary 3-0s back in Diamond and Pearl. Now, its signature move is extrasensory, and it's actually really, really cool just seeing that and imagining that this thing is actually has that essentially signature move. Now, Mesprit and other Pokemon from the trio have all sort of been forgotten, and they've never given, like, never been given enough attention, and that's why I feel like this Pokemon with a Z-move would just be the most 
perfect thing ever. Just give this Pokemon that is forgotten some attention. I really think the Mesquite, as a legendary Pokemon, needs some more limelight, and it's a, it just needs a spotlight on itself. And since the possibility of, you know, no more Megas happening, like, you know, it really would be cool seeing this thing at least receive a Z move in future Diamond and Pearl remakes. And that's why I feel like this thing would really, really, really deserve it, because it is a forgotten Pokemon. It would be cool to see it get some attention in future remakes, because the trio were always kind of forgotten, and not many people really mention them when you think about it. But that's why I feel like it should get it. Now let's go to the next one. Alright, number one is Arceus. Everyone knows Arceus. It's pretty much the creator of the Pokemon world. Now we think Arceus should get its own Z-move because it didn't really get much love when it made its debut. It was revealed that it was going to be part of the plot of Diamond and Pearl, but then it was scrapped last minute and made an event Pokemon instead. That's not how you treat the god of the Pokemon world. Many people want to see a Mega Arceus, but that might be too broken and literally unstoppable. But giving it an exclusive Z-move might be just what it needs. Arceus' signature move is Judgment. The type of play Arceus is holding determines the type this move becomes. What's interesting is the fact that similar to how plays change Arceus' type, Z-Crystals also have the power to change its type, but it won't change the type the move becomes, so only the plates affect this attack. Now here's what I was thinking. What if Arceus' exclusive Z-move makes the move Judgment super effective on all types? Basically, the move changes to whatever type the opponent is weak against. No one will be safe from this move. Now, this might seem broken, but because Arceus isn't holding any type-specific plate or Z-Crystal, it would stay a normal type. So that means it won't get a same type attack bonus. I think it's an awesome concept, and the move should be called... ETERNAL, Eternal judgment. JUDGMENT! This will definitely bring back some much-needed attention to Arceus, because it pretty much gives it the most broken Z-move ever. You might think it's unfair, but this move would and should only be reserved for the Poke God that's been neglected for so long. You wanna argue against God? Thanks for watching this video, everyone, and I hope you enjoy it. Let us know what other Pokemon you think should get an exclusive Z move for the Sinnoh remix in the comments. Now that we're done here, head over to Ruffled Rowlet's channel and check out the video we did there. Alright, it's time for me to head out now. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. Also, follow me on Twitter to get updates on videos or if you just wanna know what's up. Last but not least, make sure you live your life to the fullest, and I'll see you all next time.